Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the proper usage of negative or positive numbers when you're using your financial calculator so that you can get the correct results. So putting a negative sign generally is going to be on cash outflows. Most financial calculators require you to put a negative sign on cash outflows and a positive sign on cash inflows. As a practical matter, this usually just means that you should enter the present value with a negative sign because normally the present value represents the amount you give up today in exchange for cash inflows later. By the same token, when you solve for present value, you shouldn't be surprised when you see a negative sign. So of course, on your financial calculator, you see present value right here should be entered as negative. And also when you're calculating for present value, don't be surprised when you see a negative value because that's gonna be cash outflowing from you, negative in comparison to a cash inflow, which is probably going to be future value or payment or things like that. So hopefully that can help you out if you're running into an issue with that and needing a little clarification on why you need to enter negative values for present value. So thanks guys for stopping on in and be sure to check out all of our other videos talking about financial calculators. We hope to see you then. Bye.